Good evening, everyone. So the previous talk was led by two experts, and right now we're having a talk led by a junior, so you can see how cool, inclusive, and diverse this conference is. My name is Amanda Cavallaro. I'm a community organizer at uh, Women Tech Makers and the Google Developers Group London but for cloud. And I also get paid at my work. <laughs> my day work is at the uh, resolver.co.uk, which is an online uh, platform that you can complain for free. So you don't have to be on the phone for three hours or not knowing the emails when you want to complain to people. You can just use our free platform. And today I'm going to talk about this project that I had one week to make. I actually had a bit of more time than that, but I was wasting a lot of time trying to come up with the best idea. So the context was, I was invited to speak at this conference for girls and women in STEM. And since like I work with, with tech, I thought it made sense to just like, because just having a stand and having people come and give them swag didn't make much sense to me. So I just wanted to have people play this game I built, and it was very, very cool. And uh, so this was the picture of the day of the event. This was before, and then I put, I did give people the swag, and there were girls, and it was just amazing. So <laughs> first thing I did was just modeling everything. So I just got my tablet, and I wrote like, I, I actually drew I do how I envis envisioned it. So I just thought, okay, I'm going to, to do a logo and the game is going to be, people just write something in HTML and then it's going to be rendered and you can see the page rendered on the same page, just two text boxes. And then you could add a photo from, from my webcam since they were going to use my, my computer on the day. And then you could just add some styles to that. But again, it was just one week and I've been working with React for just a couple months. So I just thought maybe I can do it. Then, but before I chose React, I was just thinking, what should I, should I use? Should I use Angular? Should I use React? What should I do? <coughs> then, I thought, I'm wasting too much time just choosing the framework or library or whatever. I'm just going to start sketching things. So I just, now it's better than that drawing I made before. So I just put the text boxes, the images, and the <coughs> buttons, and everything was just written with an H1. It wasn't even buttons or anything, just wireframing. And then I just added some jQuery. Yay, it was magical. But again, so I'm just trying to show you how, like me as a junior, how I think. So many of you are thinking she's doing everything wrong, but I just wanted to share. Maybe there are some other juniors here. They think in a different or maybe similar way. They get the same fright as I did. And it's very hard to talk about things that you're not good at in front of, I don't know, 160 people. But okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> then at this point, uh, I really just wanted, because it was really bad to look at that. I just wanted to stop and add CSS and make everything pretty. But I'm like, let's stick to the plan. Let's just, you have this to do. Let's add, so you added jQuery, try to make just one animation. So I added jQuery and made, just put one animation and thing was, things were working fine. Then I thought it's time to choose what I'm going to use. So I went for React because as I told you, I was studying for a couple months and I was just like, you know when you're following tutorials and then things just seem to make sense and you're like, I'm so good at it. But then you, when you actually have to do things on your own, it, it gets a bit harder. So I chose to use Create React App because it was simpler, it was easier and I just had one week. And then I hosted the page on Netlify, which is awesome, very easy to do as well. And then, okay, things were actually, hang on. So that's how everything was looking when I just added React. And then I spent some time just playing with things and it, it's very hard for me to get just the HTML and pass it to JSX. So I went to those websites, HTML to JSX and I just put things in there. And then it helped me a lot because then after I pasted this first time, I could just repeat and reproduce the, the first steps. And then I had my two tags that were really badly aligned and things were looking bad, but they were working in React. It was really exciting. Then, so before, since I did everything with tags, I had one, uh, so one tag for jQuery. So what I had to do was just use NPM that the expert said it was very good. So I'm doing it right. So I just had the jQuery in the right way. And then it was time to use the webcam thingy. Then I went on that web page, I think NPM, where you can see all the packages and everything. And then I just saw this awesome thing that had everything that I wanted. 
and then I could just capture a photo, and then you could use jQuery to just add the, so I could use those filters or I could just change using animations, which is awesome for the beginners there to play with it. But again, it was just one week and I was dreaming high and I was not, and I was doing this alone, so. Okay, so things were working. <laughs> <laughs> It was not very inviting, but okay. But then I actually used some bootstrap and just used the colors and I was feeling so good. Sorry. Uh, but then I had a problem. I thought I was the expert of bootstrap and I, I just started to add things with like row and then add the 12 column grid and then add the row. And then I noticed I was doing things wrong because you don't have to repeat the row all the time. But th the time that took me to realize that I was doing wrong, because no one was telling me, so it took me a long time, and the things were just overlapping them. Then I figured how to do it, yay! So now they're not overlapping anymore, but then they're not really well aligned. <sighs> okay, so I managed, I aligned it, but now the, the image, so remember, the person was supposed to uh, type here, choose it, and the thing was going to output there, but it's outside of the text box. Why is it so hard to do the text box things? Then I had three days to finish. I was panicking, but like it was almost there. So I decided to just change the proje project. It, it was really disappointing, but I, I just needed something that worked. So instead of using the cool webcam thing, I decided to just use images. And then I just got like some static images of a cat and of a dog. Uh, and uh, where's the hamster? I also added a hamster. I also got very offended from the previous talk that he didn't mention. Who is a hamster person? I am. Anyone? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so from the previous <laughs> slide, I had the filters, then I worked on the filter and added some sepia. It was looking cool. Who, who needed those webcam filters? Come on, this was just excellent. Then it was the day before and things were not working and I don't know if you ever worked with uh, default value and value here, but so basically, let me just get back to the thing here. So whatever I was typing here was outputting there. But then when I, I, was, I, I was using default value, whatever I typed, it was showing there. But the image, when I chose, it wouldn't change. And if I use, used value, the images would change, but the text wouldn't. So at this point, I was like, what am I going to do? It's tomorrow. So I was just very proud and I didn't want to ask for help because it was my first project, but I just had to. So I asked my friend, Tomas, who was just an expert and everything. And then he actually changed things. So what he told me to do was instead, <laughs> that, that was a code of, that he gave me. So instead of using the just value or default value, I have to use value with, uh, in managing the state. And then things worked and it was okay to ask for help after all, even if you have your baby project, it's okay to ask for help with people you trust and just write channels going on Stack Overflow and stuff. So that on the day, things were looking good with the hamster. Not many people chose the hamster though. And one thing, <laughs> and another thing that I did wrong is like, I waited until everything was finished. I had like enormous code and I didn't, divide things in the, in the components, which was very hard to separate things afterwards. So if only I had started in the beginning with my four components, I think I'd be a lot less lost. So that's also a piece of advice for people. And I'm going to show you the, uh, sorry, the, uh, where is it? Not this one. So basically whatever I wrote here, And then my favorite color. Oh, I changed my favorite color. So my cute pet, and then I would choose the hamster, and then I would I would ask the girls like just choose your favorite style, click on the <coughs> on the filter you like, and then you have to come here and where. So it's a it's a style for the image. Where is the image tag? Just go there and change it there. And then people are like, oh my god, I'm such a hacker. I can just can do stuff and things <laughs> like that. And then yeah, it was very nice. Even, even if it was just a simple thing, people were like, they had no idea what coding was, so some of them just did some like simple HTML classes in school, so they were feeling like, oh my god, I really got this, don't worry. So what I would have done differently, I would have spent more time modeling the project, because maybe then I would have realized I wouldn't have time to do the webcam, webcam thingy before, 
I'd also have start, so I started the Git repos repository only when I, I realized I was going to use React, but why didn't I start before? So start from the beginning to use any version control you want. And I would have, as I said, separated things in the React component better. Right now, and you know when you run the audit thing in the Lighthouse thing, that's how the, the thing is working right now, so I would have spent more time in those things that people who are smarter than me say is important. And some of, some of the comments I heard in the day, as I told you, so it was very nice to just see the girls doing something and some of the nice things I, I saw there. And just some tips I give to everyone as a person who is learning and talking to people about this, it's still very hard. So just try to build projects from scratch because many times at work, like people have already started like that project that exists for years and then you're just like fixing things and then sometimes you go on Stack Overflow, you find the, the answer quickly. You don't, you don't get the time many times to just start things on your own. So if you have any time, any free time, try to build things from scratch because you're going to realize so many things you don't know that you think you know. And it's okay to fail, it's, it's okay when things are new, put deadlines and you can't meet them. I mean, for your projects, not the ones that work. Because you're learning from them. So if from each thing you're learning just one thing, sometimes we're just like, but I need, I need to do many, many things. No, it's okay. If you just learn one little, one little thing by day, it's, it's all right. And ask for help, it's okay. Don't, don't be too proud like I was, ask for help. And the last one is really important. And if I wrote everything as, as I was doing, I was just typing and complaining and saying things were difficult and yeah, it worked. So if you want to read everything, I'll share the slides. And if you have any questions, that's where you can find me online. Thank you very much. <laughs>